What's going on everybody? Sparks Comics here. We've got another Sparks Notes comic review from our indie comics talk that Caroline Comics and I did. So this one is going to be for The Nice House on the Lake, number one. This one is from the DC Black Label. This is written by James Tynan IV, Alvaro Martinez Bueno on the art, uh, Jordi Belair on the colors for this one. And this is a comic that I think is one to not miss out on. Um, we're going to talk about more of that and why we, we think that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. First of all, go ahead. If you haven't already, like the video. Uh, drop a comment below. Let us know uh, if you picked this up and if you were really enjoying this one. And then uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're dropping new videos on the channel. which takes us into DC Black Label, which has a creator-owned Technically not an indie, but whatever, it's tiny, so. It's, it's so an good. indie, it is still, I believe some of these DC Black Label things are creator-owned. Um, so like this one is mm -hmm. part of yeah. that. And, um, it's part uh, of his I so. verse. I Well, I think that's uh, Sweet Tooth. Uh, at least Sweet Tooth Returns was DC Black Label. Probably the whole thing is then. Yeah. So I so that would be creator owned then. And yeah. this did not disappoint I mean, it at just... all. First I of mean, all, you learn this go, kind of, kind of. but you see these symbols. Those mean something. Yeah. Uh, we'll move from from this one through that to get through our twelve issues, each representing a certain character in the book. Um, I like you open it up and first of all like just yeah the it's about the apocalypse I guess it's about the apocalypse but the person who I yeah I don't want to I don't want to spoil because it does yeah there's up. a big twist at the end uh, the last three pages of this are time let's just say this this becomes the only nice house on a lake. <laughs> it becomes the only house anywhere. Um, and that leaves a lot of interesting things. We got 12 people at this lake house brought there for a reason. They were um, trying. And then as they start to talk to each other, they they all seem to really know each other except for one person who may be a little bit newer to knowing some of the people um, who is, seems like is supposed to be the main character, but maybe just because this is her book. Yeah. I have a uh, feeling we'll see a pretty good amount of her throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, yeah, we do kind of start out with her here uh, in the more apocalyptic setting than uh, things go. Uh, but yeah, the the creepiness is set just off the tone of the cover, and it, it's definitely like a spooky tie in, like a la dot something's gone to children. Like it fits that vibe that his universe is taking on. There's some really cool things that they put into like like all the character descriptions that kind of get put into it because they were like mm -hmm. all part of part of like a dossier kind of thing for like people showing up is like here's the this is the the doctor the the pianist the consultant artist but they didn't know who those people were until they showed mm -hmm. up and saw them and you see some like emails you see some tweets so the one really interesting thing i don't know if you saw this did you see the one of yeah. the names on twitter mm -hmm. From that. yeah cole turner yeah. Yeah. uh so I don't know if that's just a nod towards his other book or if it's... I mean, he's stated he's making a universe, so... Well, that's, that's, that's the thing. This this is our first confirmation that Department of Truth and this are part of the same universe. That would be super cool. Um, which then, mm -hmm. is something in Department of Truth going to happen? I'm also wondering, okay, so timeline-wise, this versus you know, Department of Truth. Yeah, where, where, how? 
Yeah. Is it just happening in one place? Hey, there we go. We we've caught something that Jason missed. <laughs> Crazies. We did yeah. the crazies. Yeah, you caught the the powers on Basilisk. We caught the symbols on this. So sharing the information. Um, yeah, definitely interested to see where this goes. I think um, with the set, like this is going to happen in 12 issues. I think he's got a probably a good plan set out. He just, he's a planner. Like there's no other way he's writing all these books. The real question is how soon until they start killing each other? That'll be interesting. Or, um, or him. Yeah, or the twist. <laughs> no. So it, it's definitely, I can see them pitting against each other to figure, like, did, did somebody else know? Did somebody else mm -hmm. cause this? Was Are we being drugged? Uh, how exactly, yeah. How exactly are they all connected? Like, we know a little bit, like, oh, this person is from the high school cohort or the mm -hmm. college cohort or the New York. Like, so he had them kind of labeled mm -hmm. stuff. Like too. when they met him, where they met him, and when they were? Yeah. How long ago were they chosen to come to the house? is all in there and uh, we got questions they're going to get answered hopefully but uh definitely looking forward to where this goes hopefully james answer those questions <laughs> um, Not going. yeah it's 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 worth it it i mean it's up the the first issue doesn't get you into like the horror until the very end i think but I think it's going to hit some of that with that post-apocalyptic setting more so mm -hmm. into some of these future issues. Yeah, you always got to build the world a little bit first. It'll be it'll be twelve issues, I think, if they do it right. Whole year uh, comics. It'll be gone so quick you want more. Yeah. Yeah. In typical tie-in. Yeah. Thank you for watching our review of The Nice House on the Lake, number one from DC Black Label, written by James Tynan IV, art by Alvaro Martinez Bueno, and colors by Jordi Belair. Uh, we appreciate you guys for the support, for watching, for commenting, liking, subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done any of those yet and you made it this far in the video, go ahead and do that. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're dropping new videos. Uh, new things for you guys to check out. As always, collect what you love, and we'll catch you guys next time.